Hey Simmers, you may have heard that DirectX 11 is now available for The Sims 4 game, but maybe you don't know how to enable it. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So first of all, what is DirectX 11? DirectX 11 is a graphics driver that processes many of the in-game mechanics that you see and use in your game. The DirectX 11 update for The Sims 4 doesn't automatically enable DirectX 11 for The Sims, so you're going to have to follow a specific guideline of how to do it. I'm going to run you through this. So according to the patch notes, this will let the Sims team continue delivering more immersive environments and details with their future game releases. So hopefully them enabling DirectX 11 to The Sims 4 is a road towards a more richer gameplay experience with less issues. And over on Answers HQ, we have been seeing people report that the frame rate's been going up and the game just overall looks and performs better when they enable DirectX 11. So unfortunately, you can only use DirectX 11 if you're a Windows user. So first, how can you check to see if your computer supports DirectX 11? What you want to do is press the Window key and the R key on your keyboard at the same time. And this opens up this little window right here, which is the Run Dialog box. What you want to do is type DX DIAG into this box and press enter. A pop up will come up saying, Do you want to check if your drivers are digitally signed? To check your drivers, Windows might connect to the internet but doesn't send personal information about your computer. Click yes, and the DirectX diagnostic tool window will pop up. What you want to do then is click on the display tab or the display one tab if you have a multi monitor setup. And under the drivers section, look for feature levels, which is right here. If 11 underscore zero or higher is listed, then your computer supports DirectX 11. So my feature levels is 12 underscore two for the highest. So yeah, my computer definitely supports DirectX 11. All you do is click exit. Then you want to open the EA app on your computer, which I've done already. Find The Sims 4 in your games library. The easiest way to do that is to go into installed games here and just click on The Sims 4. Then you click this manage button here and view properties. In the properties, you'll see advanced launch options. And in that box, you type minus DX 11. Then you click save to apply the changes. If you have The Sims 4 on Steam, then what you want to do is open Steam, go to your library, right click on The Sims 4 and select properties. And then under the general tab, find the launch options box, type minus DX 11 and OK to save your changes. Then on your desktop shortcut, you'll want to right click that and select properties. And then in the target field, right at the end, add a space after the quote marks and then type in minus DX 11, then click apply and OK to save the changes. If you ever want to disable DirectX 11, just follow the same steps that I've already mentioned to get to the properties in the EA app and the properties in the shortcut icon. Delete the minus DX 11 and save your changes. If you have mods or custom content, the Sims team are asking that you disable mods and CC if you have DirectX 11 enabled in your game. And this is because it's still in early access. They're still running tests and everything. And having mods and custom content and the DX 11 enabled game might result in broken mods, broken CC, or the, CC, the custom content might break the game itself in new and interesting ways. And of course, we don't want that. So yeah, if you enable DirectX 11, 
and you have mods or custom content, either disable them or be aware that it might cause issues. Anyway, my friends, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If it was, please share it with a friend so that they can enable DirectX 11 on their games as well. And if you have any problems or feedback about the DirectX 11 addition to The Sims 4, please head over to Answers HQ and let them know what you think. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Happy simming.